In a generation that seems more fiction than fact, it's difficult to explain what is so enamoring about a game largely about nature. Where most interactive experiences aim for better explosions and realistic bullet drop physics, Flower is one that keeps it simple and hits players in a place that they may not have known existed. To say that I love this game is a gross understatement, much like saying that water is merely recommended for survival. In Flower, you control the wind, a simple breeze over a beautiful landscape that picks up petals as it moves. Along the way, the breeze will restore life to the dead areas of the earth as it spreads flowers along its free-flowing path. That is the main gameplay hook, but the sum is so much more than its parts as the experience is heightened by lovely visuals and pleasant, condition-based music, like notes playing as you collect more petals. This is much more of an experience than a straightforward game, something that the creators that game company are now known for. You may have heard of their previous game, Flow, which has you controlling organisms in a bizarre ecosystem, and have likely heard of their latest game, Journey, a potential emotional roller coaster that garnered many Game of the Year awards when it was released. However, in my eyes, Flower is the true gem of their catalog, and is a masterpiece of the generation, along with titles like Portal and Portal 2, Braid, and even The Last of Us. This game is chicken soup for the soul and is extremely unique in the way it meanders from start to finish. Flower tells a story with no words, yet is more powerful to me than most other pieces of entertainment available, not just limited to video games. I am exercising restraint in the footage I show, because Flower is truly something that deserves to be experienced firsthand. I have watched lifelong gamers and complete video game virgins alike pick up this title and be captured by its beauty and splendor. There are oohs and ahs and much more as players progress through the short story, and I personally hit a wide range of feelings through my time with it. I'll be honest, this game is not for everyone. If you only want boss battles and gunfights out of your games, then please keep moving. But if you believe in video games, as an art form, as the interactive medium of a generation, then you owe it to yourself to take a look. It can be had for little more than the price of your morning coffee, and will last much longer, I assure you. If what you're seeing looks interesting to you at all, then I have to give Flower my highest recommendation, and hope that you will give it a chance and let it reveal its secrets to you. Flower is currently available on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation Vita.